My friends, welcome back to A Jersey Unboxing. My name is Neil, if you are new. And if you haven't seen the first two videos in the series, I unboxed two of the jerseys, or I bagged two of the jerseys that were in this bag. There's still two left, and uh, I wanted to split it up because, you know, these videos are just going to be short anyway. So I figured, eh, we'll make four videos of it and just have some fun. Because I think every, every jersey deserves its own video. Every jersey is special in its own way. And I don't know what I'm going to pull out of this bag next, and it's just, I mean, I know what's in there, but it's still going to be a surprise. So I appreciate you guys clicking on this video. I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes out of your day. Let's not waste any more of your time. Let's get into this bag and see what's going on. I got the top camera looking down, so we got the full view. Leave your predictions down below. Now, I will say that of the four jerseys that I unboxed, three of them were NHL jerseys. One was not. There are two in the bag, and one is a non-NHL jersey. We still have not pulled that, so this could be it. Let's see. Oh, it is not. Wow, it made it to the end. So, by process of elimination, you've narr already narrowed it down to two jerseys, and if you're a jersey expert, you will know that exactly what team this is from the neck. Let's turn it over. For those who don't know what it is, the patch will give it away here. Let's do the final flip. It is the Tampa Bay Lightning. I do have their away jersey, but I actually don't have their home jersey. And I wanted to get it because, not necessarily because I like it, just because I wanted to have both in my collection, the home and the away. There's actually few teams in the NHL where I actually do have home and away. And uh, it, was, it was really cheap, it was $60, and it's size 50. Now this is from the uh, second production run or third production runs. It does not have the button, which is okay. It's not no big deal. Uh, it is blank, by the way. Nobody on the back. Totally blank, which is makes it easier to wear. Now I might send this off eventually to get it stitched, but uh, I'm not I'm not obsessed with that idea. I might actually just keep this one blank because it's a very simple jersey. It's a very clean jersey. I do wish that Tampa would switch up their jerseys a little bit, but uh, this I will admit this is way nicer in person than it is in photos. I'm really happy that I found this for sixty dollars, and I can't share where I got it from. I mean, technically I could. But the business doesn't exist anymore. They actually went out of business. This was like a clearance because they're going out of business. So I just found them at the right time thanks to some a suggestion on Twitter. So I could tell you the company, but you're not going to be able to find the deal anyway. So uh, yeah, 60 bucks for, a, for a, a, a blank jersey added to the collection. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to see more, aka the last jersey in this bag, you're going to have to hit the subscribe button because that's coming in a couple of days. I've got more things to unbox. I've got a giant box over there that I need to unbox. You might actually see that video before this one, so that's irrelevant. But I always have things to unbox recently. So thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day, and I will catch you real soon. Adios.